more advanced that AI becomes, uh, the more automated jobs are going to be, right? Like especially jobs in art or in writing. Now you can just tap a button and get a fully written email or newsletter or article or blog post, right? You don't need humans to do that anymore. And with the design, you can just click a button and you get a ultra high resolution realistic photo or ultra high realistic animated image or cartoon with just a click of a button. Some people are afraid that AI is biased because like, well, who creates AI, right? Because now people are going to the AI to ask all sorts of different questions. Who tells AI what's, what's correct and what's not correct? What positive things can AI do? It's going to help mankind because it's going to make things a lot easier. It can help the people who are in power to gain more power. Uh, and they're already in China. They can track everybody's movements and everybody's activities, right? Before the print and press or the typewriter is invented, everybody had to handwrite everything. And then they invented the print and press. And the printing press made duplication of um, documents very fast. It was a double-edged double sword because now more people can ac get access to, to books, education because of the printing press. But then also people can use it for, for propaganda, right? Or people use it for, for negative means. Part of my kind of talent is to be able to make things easier. So technology is always in favor of things that can make life easier, faster, or effortless. That's why I created the Qi coils. Also created something called Qi Energy AI. It is a software program that uses a sort of intelligence, create a communication channel between a phone and a source of energy. It's a website that uses quantum technology allow people to feel the energy coming out from a, from their phone. Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon in quantum physics where two particles become connected in such a way that the state of one particle is dependent on the state of the another. Regardless of distance between them, it means that when one particle is measured or changed in some way, the other particle will also be affected, even if they are separated from vast distances. The concept of quantum entanglement can be difficult to grasp because it seems to be going against our classical understanding of how objects of the physical world should behave. In classical physics, objects can only interact with one another if they are in close proximity. In the quantum world, particles can be become entangled and influence one another instantaneously even if they are on opposite sides of the universe. One way to visualize quantum entanglement is think of two dice that are rolled together and then separated. Even though they are separated, the outcome of one die roll will always be correlated with the outcome of the other die roll. If one die shows six, for example, the other die must show a one. In quantum entanglement, the particles involved can be more complex than dice and correlation is more subtle, but basic principle is the same. Quantum entanglement is a fundamental feature of quantum mechanics and has been observed in experiments involving photons, electrons, and even large molecules. Quantum entanglement has many practical applications in areas such as quantum cryptography, quantum computing. It also has important implications on our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality and the, and the relationship between matter and consciousness. One way I can explain it, so maybe I should start with, okay, we have a website that uses quantum entanglement to send healthy energy through your phone. Okay, so that's the first part. And then people are going to ask, how does it work? What's quantum entanglement, right? And then I'll explain, and I'll say, it's basically connecting two things together um, that could be very far apart or have no, no natural connection. It's a, I can say, it's a, it's, a, it's a special way of connecting two things together or combining two things together. It's a special way of connecting two things together, causing them to be in instant communication with each other. How the website works is it has these frequencies and we connect those frequencies instantly to your phone through this quantum entanglement. Some of the beetles and the bugs, they're actually not using air to, to get the lift. They're actually vibrating their wings at a frequency that allows them to levitate. And the beetles are so heavy that their wings are too small for them to use airflow to, to get them to lift off the ground. It has to be some kind of other like anti-gravity mechanic that's happening there.